Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal Mysteries on earth, bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The Apostles and the brothers in Judea heard that the pagans too had accepted the word of God. And when Peter came up to Jerusalem, the Jews criticised him and said, So you have been visiting the uncircumcised and eating with them, have you? Peter, in reply, gave them the details point by point. One day, when I was in the town of Jaffa, he began. I fell into a trance as I was praying. and had a vision of something like a big sheet being let down from heaven by its four corners. This sheet reached the ground quite close to me. I watched it intently and saw all sorts of animals and wild beasts. Everything possible that could walk, crawl or fly. Then I heard a voice that said to me, Now Peter, kill and eat. But I answered, Certainly not, Lord. Nothing profane or unclean has ever crossed my lips. And a second time the voice spoke from heaven. What God has made clean, you have no right to call profane. This was repeated three times before the whole of it was drawn up to heaven again. Just at that moment, three men stopped outside the house where we were staying. They had been sent from Caesarea to fetch me and the spirit told me to have no hesitation about going back with them. The six brothers here came with me as well and we entered the man's house. He told us he had seen an angel standing in his house who said, Send to Jaffa and fetch Simon, known as Peter. He has a message for you that will save you and your entire household. I had scarcely begun to speak when the Holy Spirit came down on them in the same way as it came on us at the beginning. And I remembered that the Lord had said, John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. I realised then that God was giving them the identical thing he gave to us when we believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. And who was I to stand in God's way? This account satisfied them, and they gave glory to God. God, they said, can ev evidently grant even the pagans, the repentance that leads to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. Like the deer that yearns, for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My soul is thirsting for the living God. O oh, send for the light and your truth. 
let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. My soul is thirsting for the living God, and I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart, O God, my God. My soul is thirsting for the living God. Alleluia. 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 I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Alleluia. 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 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, I tell you most solemnly, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but gets in some other way, is a thief and a brigand. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the flock. The gatekeeper lets him in. The sheep hear his voice. One by one he calls his own sheep and leads them out. When he has brought out his flock, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow because they know his voice. They never follow a stranger, but run away from him. They do not recognise the voice of strangers. Jesus told them this parable, but they failed to understand what he meant by telling it to them. So Jesus spoke to them again. I tell you most solemnly, I am the gate of the sheepfold. All others who have come are thieves, of, thieves and brigands, but the sheep took no notice of them. I am the gate. Anyone who enters through me will be safe. He will go freely in and out and be sure of finding pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it to the full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God that he, who graciously listened to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son, may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer for the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Be pleased to hear us, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Be pleased to hear us. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. O God, we know that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need. Hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe in you. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless and protect us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.